Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! Oh, the Things They Invented All About Great Inventors by Bonnie Worth Illustrated by Aristides Ruiz and Joe Matthew I'm the cat in the hat, and as everyone knows, I'm a cat who is fond of machines and gizmos. All through human history, since before the year one, things have been invented to help get stuff done. Tools improve daily life, and I think you will find they are fabulous products of the human mind. The inventors of tools from old and new ages will now spring to life in these very pages. If you're ready to meet them, please turn your attention to the Super D Duper Invention Convention. Johannes Gutenberg, around 1439, movable type printing press. Gutenberg, who worked with metals like gold, found a way to print books that improved on the old. Before books were copied by hand, this is so. The pace of these scribes was incredibly slow. Or pages were carved out of one wooden block, then inked and pressed down onto smooth paper stock. A book took forever to make and that's why books were for rich folks alone to go by. Gutenberg's metal letters, both capital and small, periods and commas and colons and all, were laid out word by word by the page in a tray, locked in and then copied in ink in this way. Page after page, he laid each out anew, printing 200 Bibles before he was through. His printing machine, you never will guess, was made from a very old, unused wine press. James Watt, 1769, Modern Steam Engine Perhaps young James Watt watched a tea kettle steam and there got the spark for his steam engine dream. Did he see the effect that boiled water brings? The steam creates power that then can move things. To make matters clear, the things will now show how a steam engine works. Turn the page and you'll know. Water heats in a boiler until it makes steam. Then steam leaves the boiler in a powerful stream. It enters a cylinder, causing pistons to go. But when the steam cools, the pistons will slow. Before Watt, steam engines did not work well at all. When the hot steam cooled down, the pistons would stall. Watt took the cooled steam, turned to water by then, and pumped it back to the boiler to heat up again. Factory machines kept chugging this way, and steam locomotives could choo-choo all day. Eli Whitney, 1793, Cotton Gin. To separate fibers, from the cotton plant's seeds, took many hands picking for long hours indeed. Mr. Whitney's all new cotton sorting machine turned a slow, dirty job into one quick and clean. Cotton lint, seed. The gin used a screen and it worked simply to hold the seeds back while hooks pulled the cotton lint through. A big moving brush cleared the lint to make way for the next round of cotton. Why, that gin ran all day. Cotton with seeds, seeds. Metal screen holds back seeds, clean cotton. Louis Daguerre, 1837, early photography. The convention's next star, standing right next to me, Daguerre, who helped make the first photography. He based it on a clever and ancient gizmo 
called the Camera Obscura, which we will now show. It's a box with a hole, and it makes Thing 1 frown, because the image it captures comes out upside down. Another big problem? The image will fade, and that's where Daguerre's big improvement was made. Tiny hole to let in light. Light. Inverted image on film. Slipped into the camera was a copper plate bathed in iodine crystals. Its power was great. The plate copied an image that no one could see until mercury fumes made it clear as can be. To keep it from smudging, Daguerre was then able to soak it in water plus salt from his table. Samuel Morse, 1838, Messages by Wire Before Morse, the mail traveled only by letter, but mail sent by wire moved much faster and better. Pulses of current could work, in effect, to cause an electromagnet to deflect. The magnet moved an arm to beat out a mode of dashes and dots we all call Morse code. Our Congress approved of Morse code and what's more, told Morris to string wires from D.C. to Baltimore. Telegraphs became the latest sensation. Soon telegraph wires linked up the whole nation. Alexander Graham Bell, 1876, Telephone Son of a deaf mother, Mr. Bell really cared about improving the lives of the hearing impaired. His phonograph used a real human ear to draw sound vibrations the deaf could read but not hear. Mouthpiece, ear. The gizmo led him to think maybe he could send off sounds by electricity. His assistant, Tom Watson, receiver to ear, heard Bell down the hall transmit sound he could hear. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Thomas Edison, 1877, Phonograph Before the tape player or the handy CD, phonographs with needles played records, you see. After improving Bell's telephone, Edison had the intention of making another telephone invention. It would copy down calls so businesses could track who had called up and who to call back. Just like your ear, a receiver caught sound, copied down by a needle on a cylinder round. In addition to messages, it copied music and song and became all the rage before very long. Flywheel, foil around cylinder, needle, Handle. Mary had a little lamb. Gottlieb Daimler, 1886, four wheeled automobile. A man named Daimler, whom I will now mention, made a gas fed internal combustion engine. He used this engine to power a bicycle, turning it into the first motorcycle. Intake open. Air and fuel, piston, crankshaft, exhaust, open. Next, he took a stagecoach and unhitched the horse team, then fit it with an engine. Now, what was his scheme? The wheels spun around. The experts all feel that this was the first four-wheeled automobile. Wilbur and Oroville Wright, 1903, Fixed Wing Motorized Aircraft When motorized airplanes had all so far failed, the brothers Wright felt that they had the deal nailed. Making wings shaped for flight was the Wright's fondest goal to allow for balance and flying control. A movable rudder that fit on the rear was added to help the brothers to steer. 
on a hill in Kitty Hawk, after many a try, Wilbur one day set out to fly. And 852 feet in the air Wilbur flew. He made like the birds and made history too. Mary Anderson, 1905, manually operated windshield wipers. Once, streetcar drivers in the rain and the snow had to lean out the window to see where to go. Mary Anderson drew up and then she made an arm on a spring with a smooth rubber blade. The driver pulled a lever to make the blade go and sweep off the rain and the slush and the snow. Garrett Morgan, 1923, three position traffic signal. Thing one just told me, a thing you should know. Our street traffic signals once were just stop and go. At busy intersections, as you might well guess, accidents would happen, making quite a big mess. But Garrett Morgan thought it was a must to give all these drivers some time to adjust. A signal could say, in a moment or so, you're expected to stop or expected to go. He invented a signal that paused half the way between go and stop, like yellow lights of today. Caution for oncoming traffic to slow down. Computer Inventors, 1936 to 2010. In 36, Conrad Zusa invented a machine, the first working computer the world's ever seen. This computer had everything a modern one has, input, memory, process, output, and all of that jazz. Steve Jobs and his team all get a big nod for the Apple computer, the iPad and iPod, not to mention the iPhone, which, as I understand, is a computer that fits in the hand. Macintosh, 1984. iPod, 2001. iPad, 2010. iPhone, 2007. Tim Berners-Lee, 1989-90. World Wide Web. A man who is really no big deal celeb had a vision for something called the World Wide Web. This web thing would have no bosses or leaders. Its contributors would be its viewers or readers. His own computer, which was brand next, set up a web of computerized text. Users added content as they went along. The web was soon up and it was going strong. Politics, facts, personal blogs, home videos of kittens and dogs. Tim Berners-Lee, now read my lips. Put the knowledge of the world at your fingertips. And speaking of tips, I have one for you. With a dream and a plan, you can make gizmos too. And if stumped for ideas, please don't forget that you could put on my red and white Cat's Thinking Hat. Glossary. Adjust to prepare or get ready. Content. Subjects or topics covered. Contributors. Persons or things that give or add something. Cylinder. A geometric shape with two circular flat ends. Deflect. To change direction. Electromagnet, a magnet powered by electrical current. Fibers, the plant thread from which cloth is woven. Fumes, vapor, gas, or smoke. Impaired, flawed or damaged. Input, the information fed into a computer. Iodine crystals, a chemical from the ocean from which the moisture has dried. Memory, where information is stored in a computer. Mercury, a toxic chemical element 
also known as Quicksilver. Output, information that comes out of a computer. Piston, a cylinder that fits in a tube where it moves to create power. Process, when a computer follows steps that have been written for it. Stock, a ready supply. Transmit, to send information by electrical signal. Vibrations, quivering or shaking motions.